variation. Today's lesson will tie much into Tuesday's lesson when we're going to take everything that we learned today and put it into a graph. Okay? So measures of variation goes back to what we learned on Monday with mean, median, mode, and range, but we're going to stick with the mean part. If you look at the top of the page, it says measures of variation. Find the range, median, upper and lower quartiles, interquartile range, and outliers. Have you seen all those before? No. No. Some of them are new, which would hopefully encourage you to pay a little bit more attention today. There are seven steps that we're going to go through to find everything that we need to create the graphs that we're going to create on Tuesday. But we're going to learn how to do that today. The first step is to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Then we find the range. What is the range? Biggest number minus the smallest number. And then we're going to find the median. How do we find the median of a set of numbers? You, Tay Audric? Oh, well, they have to be in uh, order from least to greatest, and then you have to find which one is in the middle. Absolutely. Then we're going to find some new things. The lower quartile, which is the median of the lower half of numbers. The upper quartile is the median of the upper half of the numbers. And the interquartile range is the lower quartile subtracted from the upper quartile. And then we're going to look for outliers. Outliers are numbers that are extreme numbers that really don't fit around the center of all the rest of the numbers. Now let's look at what those are and how to find them. Step one, for example one, is first to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Will you do that please with me as I do it on my iPad? What's the first number? Two. Two. Second number? Ten. 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 Next? Twelve. 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 Then? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 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 Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-one. Step two says to find the range. Could somebody raise your hand and tell us how to find the range? Chloe? Twenty-one minus two. 21 minus 2 equals 19. 19. Now we need to find the median. Could somebody figure out what the median is and tell us how you got it and what it is? Avery? Median is 15. You, once you have it in order from least to greatest, you mark off the 2, 21, 10, 20, 12, 18, 13, 18, 14, 17, and then the one in the middle is 15, so that Great. Will you please circle the median, which is 15? And we're also going to write it on step three. Now, to find the lower quartile, we take all of the numbers that are less than the median. All of the numbers that are less than the median. What are they? Somebody raise your hand and tell me all the numbers less than the median. Amanda? 2, 10, 12, 13, and 14. Great. I'm going to take all of those numbers, those five numbers, and I'm going to find the median of that set of numbers. Somebody raise your hand and tell me what is the median of that lowest set of numbers. Bailey? 12. It is 12. Will you please put an arrow pointing to 12 to let us know that that is the lower quartile. So that number is 12. And right under the 12, I'm going to put L, Q. Now, we're going to find in step number five, we're going to find the upper quartile. The upper quartile is the median of the top half of our set of numbers. What is the top set of numbers? Hamza. Excellent. What are they? 17, 18, 18, 18. And so what is the median of that set? 18. The second 18, so we're going to put an arrow there, and right under it, we're going to put UQ for the upper quartile. And under step five, we're going to write 18 for the upper quartile. 
Everybody good so far? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, it's new terms, but they're not difficult to find. No, sir. Okay. Now, number 16 says we need to find the interquartile range. That is a big word to say subtract the UQ and the LQ. What is the UQ? 18. 18 minus, what's the LQ? 12, 12 equals 6. six. So my interquartile range, repeat that after me, please. Interquartile range. Interquartile range. Great. You sound so sophisticated. Now, we have an interquartile range of six. Here is where the trickiness comes in, because there are a lot of steps to the next part. Remember, outliers are numbers that are extreme. Now, if you look at that set of data, we have numbers between 2 and 21. Are there any numbers that look like they're not really close to the rest of them? Yes. Bailey? Two. The 2 looks like it might be kind of way off. Let's find out if it is. In order to find out if we have any outliers, the first thing we have to do is take the IQR, which is what? 6. six and multiply it by 1.5. We're always going to multiply it by 1.5. So 6 times 1.5. What is 6 times 1.5? 9. Nine. 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 Now, I take that 9 and I add it to the UQ. What is the UQ? 18. So what's 18 plus 9? 27. What? 27. 27. Do I have any numbers that are bigger than 27 in my list? No. 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 So I'm going to write that. No numbers bigger than 27. If I had any numbers that were bigger than 27, they would be considered an outlier. Way out there. Okay? That's the top end, if there are any way out there on the top. Now let's find some that are on the way out there on the bottom. So I'm going to take the LQ and subtract 9. What is my LQ? 12 minus 9 equals 3. Do I have any numbers that are less yes. than 3? Yes, sir. What is it? 2. Oh, sure. 2 is less than 3. So it is an outlier. So if we don't find the outliers for the big number, do we have to find those? Sometimes there is an outlier on either end. Sometimes there's one on one end and one on, and none on the other. Sometimes there are none. So you check them both. You have to check them both. Okay? Are we good?